We are now going to explore our APIC command line interface or CLI. This is also a way for us to monitor the status of our nodes and verify their configuration. For those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, name is Dean Armada, and I'm the Cloud and Data Center. And on this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, trivia and tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. Now, what we're gonna do next is access our APIC via SSH. Now I'm here in our management PC and all I need to do is open party and uh, I will enter the IP address of one of our APIC, one of our controllers. So it's 10.101.10.2 and let me change the appearance to 14 fun style bold. Okay, I'm gonna click open. Now it it's asking us for login okay, and I will enter student dash 97 okay and the password would be there we enter and we are now logged in now the first thing I will show you is this command okay and by the way if I do show it will provide show uh, space question mark it will provide us uh, many different options all possible options but take note, even there are show commands, look at the options. This Most of these are not something that you will see in a Cisco iOS or NXOS-like environment. So let's do this first. Show uh, run, not config, but show run or running config. Now, it will show us the configuration of our APIC. But take note, okay, these are not iOS or NXOS-like. So what do we have here? We have AAA, RBAC, BGP, a lot of RBAC, okay? and under uh, RBAC, it's a security domain configuration. Okay, so these are a lot of RBAC. Okay, uh, what else? So we have uh, COM policy, we have firmware, okay, we have uh, policy map, QoS, QoS params, uh, template, VLAN domains, Tenant, this is this tenant commons, um, and we have templates, tenant infra, spine interface, um, monitor scheduler fabric. Okay, and as you can see, like what I mentioned, okay, these are not a very common configuration. It's not a Cisco IOS or NXOS command syntax. Now, what I'm gonna show you next is um, a very common command from the APIC controller CLI is show controller. Of course, we want to show, we want to view the details of our APIC, our controller. So show controller, uh, it will provide us the active controllers, APIC one, two, and three. Now you see the asterisk here. This means that this is the APIC controller we are currently logged in. Okay, so uh, all are under pod one. Again, this is data center one. Uh, we have the, uh address these are the infrastructure address uh starts with 165 okay so 0.1 0.2 and 0 0.3 there's no in-band ip addresses but we have out of band ip addresses and this is what we use to manage our ap controllers so this is um what we are actually using right now uh this is what we use when we ssh to this controller 10.101.10.2 for APIC 2 and 3, uh, we just changed the host ID to dot 3 and dot 4. Okay, we also have the IP version 6 version. Uh, we also have uh, the firmware version, which is 5.2, 2F. And we have the flags. So before the flags, we have the serial numbers and the health is fully fit. Now this flag, uh, this tells us the status of our uh, controllers. So it says CRVA. What does it mean? Well, it means is 
commissioned C, R is registered with valid certificate, and A means approved. Now, the next thing that we will do is we're going to show the status or information of our switches. So we use controllers. This time, we'll use show switch. Okay. Now, we'll get almost the same like the ID 105 to 109 for the leaf, uh, for the spines 203 and 204. And also, uh, look at the name here. It also tells us leaf 105, 106 to 109. And we also see uh, the name of our spines, 203 and 204. Now, this is our infrastructure IP address. Again, started uh, or starts with 100.65. Okay. Uh, the out of band IP addresses, 107 and the rest. Uh, well, 107 to 109, 203 and 204. Note ID doesn't have an, un uh, excuse me doesn't have an out-of-band management IP address. The only switches that have OOB IPs are 105 and 106, okay? 10.101.10.11 .10 for 105, which is leap 105, and for the leap 106 is dot 12, okay? Um, for the version, th these are all Nexus 9000, dash 15.0, okay, to E. Well, some are to F. Now, we all have serial numbers here. It is shown on this column. Um, but how about the flags? Well, the flags, this will help us identify the status of our node or our switches. It also identifies if the switch is really a leaf or a spine. Let's look at. So, A-L-I-V. A stands for it's active. Okay. L stands for the switch. Uh, in this example, 105 is a leaf switch. Okay, uh, I means in service and with valid certificate. Now look at these node 203 and 204. Okay, it's not a L, it's a S, meaning these two nodes, A S I V, active, they're both spines with valid certificate and in service. Now let's go, well, let's use another command. Um, let's use another command. Let's use ACI, no, AC diag FNB read. Now this is almost the same, like it also provides a summary of our nodes. Here's the ID, pod ID, uh, node name, leap 105 to 109, spine, serial number, IP addresses, and the role and the states. Okay, so it's up to you. What do you prefer? Uh, show switch or ACI diag, FNB read. It's almost the same. I would say it gives us more information on the show switch. Okay, what else? We also have show uh, out of band management or OOB dash management. Now this gives us the out of band information. And as you can see, only uh, two switches are added, leaf 105 and leaf 106, and of course the three Apex. And uh, we already saw this, this IP addresses, okay? And uh, well, they only have one gateway because they are only using um, one subnet on their IP addresses. Now look at the operation status, you see all status are up okay three apex and leaf 105 this operational down state is leaf 106 and this is the reason why the health status specifically on the management interface entity has an health score of zero because the status of our out of band management is down so what do you think? Is it cool? In the next video, we will explore Switch CLI. Comment below if you have any questions. Don't forget to hit the like button.